<laughs> there we go. Delete. And blow that up too. And then hopefully we can fit our clinic in there somewhere. A free clinic. We will have to hire some college educated people to run it, but it'll help keep everyone happy. Well, that's what these trucks are. Well, one of the trucks, the construction yards, automatically have trucks to get around places, so. Builder and my president. Presidente is over here. Yes, build that fast. Come on. Chop, chop. <laughs> Church. I got one priest, one padre. Three people attending. Alright. Ba -da -da. I love the music in this game so much. It just gets me in the mood to play video games. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So we still have a few shacks. Things have improved. Once these uh, these two tenements here get finished, that'll help hugely. And okay, good, that farm finished. So you guys build this one. Presidente, get over there. I don't have all day. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how we're doing in terms of shipping stuff out. We're sure making a lot of money. Workforce of the island simply not enough. Buildings work at a very low efficiency due to lack of workers. Yes, so that's a good idea. We're gonna set a uh, build an immigration place. Uh, I think government services, immigration office. And I always like to build that over here. Huh. Apparently, you build. It's got. It can use road access. Yeah, I like to build it right by the port. It always seems like it makes sense to me. Let's build in the road over here. And we can set up some apartments back here too. Whoops. Apartment block. See, it looks so much nicer than the tenements. There. Can we squeeze one right here? No. There. Ah, so many things to build. So are my constructions? No, oh, see, my construction workers don't even have full employment. Hmm. We just exported fifteen thousand dollars worth of goods. Wow. Okay. Are there more edicts I can put out? Are we elections? No, I don't want elections. Tax cut, that'll make everyone happy. And tourism. Oh, the special building permit. Yes, that's what I should have done ages ago. I love this edict. So, um... <laughs> it increases the, the cost on all my buildings by 20%, but 10% of the cost then goes into my Swiss bank account. <laughs> so the intellectuals who figure all that out don't like it, but it does mean a fatter Swiss bank account for me. And what does a Swiss bank account do in your game? Nothing except increase your score. But who doesn't want to end up rich? Um, I guess we could do a tax cut. We got the money for it. It'll make everyone super happy. So yeah. Good morning, Tropico. While some of our comrades are busy fighting the injustice around the world, the rest of us are fortunate to be living on such a beautiful island. Take a minute and thank El Presidente for our happy life on these shores. I love that announcer so much. Okay, can I fit a clinic in there? Uh, no. Here? Yes. Mm -hmm. the, I can't fit a market place there either. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna speed things up. Oh, I was normal speed. That's no good. Go back to fastest. Go, 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 go. Nice little island. But who would love to visit this? Look at this. So pretty. I'm sure, the people are dirt poor. But you can come here and then feel better about yourself for being rich. Because, you know, that means you're a better person, right? That's what Stephen Colbert tells me. Wonder if I need more Teamsters to carry things around. Hopefully not. A new trend is spreading across the island. Mothers are naming their children after El Presidente. Oh. Yesterday, I saw a llama with El Presidente's name shaved on one side. Of course, Juanito is El Presidente's biggest fan. <laughs> 
Um, expenses, tourism rating went down by one. Like, who cares? We don't want tourists. Um, happiness. Okay, it, it dipped down back up now to 40%, because I think it was down quite low. Well, in the low 30s at one point. Um, respect is up, good. Intellectuals still hate us, but the religious are a little bit better off. Communists love us, the capitalists are kind of meh. Um, environmentalists really like us, but they're all farming and stuff, right? So, why not? Um, average pay, where's the other? I guess there's economy, yeah. Okay, that's not bad. Feeling good, top X and tobacco. That's how we make our money. Intellectuals do hate us quite a bit, but I oh will. There's only one person who's totally no miserable with us. This guy here, what factions he's with? Where's that? He's with intellectuals, but only slightly, frankly. Alright, I'm not too concerned. They haven't called for elections, so I'm happy. We've been at this for four years now, and we are well on our way. We're gonna finish this super fast. Six more immigrants? Good, we need more immigrants. The immigration is okay. So it's because my people don't have enough babies. But one of the things, when I finished my clinic, so you've got a variety of choices for your clinic, um, how to specialize. Preventative medicine, so they'll need health care 20% less often. Obstetrics, which increases the chance that a woman will become a mother by 50%. And gerontology, which increases the lifespan of visitors by one year upon each visit. Which is pretty good. I'm going to keep it on preventative because I'm not going to have that much health care. Uh, around, so I want fewer visits. When you uh, when you make a school, it's super awesome. You can choose what type of education they get, like normal education or uh, parochial, which is like religious. It, it increases the chance that the kids, after they're done their education, will come out super duper religious. And there's another one I can't remember, nationalistic maybe, something like that. That's uh, so where they come out and they'll have a militaristic faction then. So you. Uh, some people are protesting. Where is that happening? Oh, you're talking to too many people. I gotta send a present out there. Bonus suggestions. Objective. If you achieve average housing happiness of 40%, I'll receive 250 bonus points. Okay, that sounds fine. Send my president out. So where is my score right now? Happiness, housing, 36. Okay, no, I can, I can do that. That'll be fine. Especially once I finish these apartment buildings. Oh, we need our educated workers for our immigration office. And we got another rebel? Fuck. That's not... That's really starting to look kind of bad. Um, oh, I can't build guard stations. Uh, army base, though. This is housing and healthcare. I don't know if it actually also gives me just a higher count of them or not. Because I just want more soldiers. Okay, you can fit. Plus, the more I build, the more my special building permit stuffs into my uh, savings account. More protesters. No, no protesting. Oh man, look how many people are listening to this guy too. So bad. So bad. Please disperse. I will... Like, totally do good things for you soon. I don't even know what they're bitching about. Well, their healthcare is still pretty shitty. Oh, we need to hire some people for healthcare. Oh. Oh, autosave. Yes. Oh, God, they're so expensive, the college graduates. We do have the money. It also costs a lot more in wages, but we, we have money, so that's okay. Apartment's being completed. 
So, okay, let's pause a sec here. We are paying our poor people, our uneducated people, $8 per month. Um, so, individually, they can afford, uh, if it's one-third of their income, then they can afford two per month uh, on a place. But if they're a pair of people, if they're a married couple, like look at these guys, they pool their money, so that's 16, so they can afford to pay five per month. Um, so we can set the rent all the way up to five on our apartments, and then married, uneducated people will, will share an apartment, or also single high school student, or high school educated people who make 15 per month can also afford that. So. That's how I want it. I want my apartments reserved for, like, maximum effectiveness here. Can I... Yeah, you can change the maintenance from normal to roach patrol, which cuts down the maintenance, but also the housing value. And I want the housing value. So, yeah, the tenements are 37... 36, 37-ish. Apartments are worth 60, so that's clearly a lot better. Yeah, we're gonna see about getting some more apartments up. That should buff our rating. I want those bonus points. Plus, it'll generally keep everyone a little bit happier, and hopefully make less rebels. Our economy is still rocking. Maybe we'll build another construction place. Right over here, and then another tenement. We probably have, still have limited employment resources, but... Yeah, educated worker, good. Bring in more. And, oh, your immigration office, you can change it. Okay, right now it's open doors. Just gives me, currently with my one employee there, it'll get better once I get a second person, it's 30% more immigration. If I went to skilled workers, it would increase the chance of getting high school or college at educated immigrants. Tropico first means no immigration allowed whatsoever. And why... We, oh! Export price of agricultural products has increased by 20%. So it's a good thing I didn't take that 10 grand, because clearly things are going okay. Um, you know, if you're not as familiar with the game, maybe you need it just to help you get started, but if you can afford it, don't don't take that 10 grand, because you are going to make a lot more money. So Tropical First means no immigration other than specialists. And you would do this to keep your population a little low, and to make the nationalists a little happier, um, and a few other things. Love it or leave it, I actually quite like quite a bit, because if um, it increases the emigration, increasing the chance that people will leave your island. And why would you want to do this? Well, because the unhappiest people leave first. So by doing this, it increases the chance that people who are pissed off at you, and then they won't be a problem anymore. It's a little bit risky, but it does work sometimes. And then finally, no immigration. Nobody gets out of here alive. Immigration is forbidden. Does mean that the pissed off people only have one recourse now, rebellion, but depending on, on what your employment Tomorrow, situation is. Tomorrow, expect a heavy rain of frogs. This unusual phenomenon is apparently not so unusual, since our neighbors claimed even stranger stuff was falling from the sky, including sardines, jellyfish, alligators, and sadly, cows. El Presidente said that it's better raining frogs than men. <laughs> Wow, we just exported 24 grand worth of stuff, so our, yeah, our economy is so sick. So sick good right now. Anything else I can put in? Contraception ban. Which makes the religious people happier, but hurts the intellectuals. You can also put in same-sex marriage. Increases respect of intellectuals, but decreases the respect of the religious. So you really have a lot of options for what you do with people. Nuclear testing. Nuclear testing. I will receive 10,000 bucks, but environmentalists' respect will be lowered permanently. I also like humanitarian aid, actually. Um, it, it's free, and you can only do that, I don't know, there's like a specific situation, or maybe it's just one time only or something like that. Um, the Basically, like the UN will show up and set up an aid camp on your, on your, on your island and provide your people with free food and free healthcare. It's actually really amazing if you're in like a shitty place and having a hard start. You just 